You could say that Pep Guardiola stands among the greatest football managers ever, having coached luminaries like Messi, Iniesta and Haaland. Can you guess who he considers the most naturally gifted player he's ever guided? Surprisingly, it's Phil Foden. Unexpected, right? Impressively, Foden is meeting Guardiola's lofty expectations, shining as one of Manchester City's standout performers this season. He even stepped up to secure wins in the absence of Kevin De Bruyne, indisputably one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Drawing parallels between Foden and another football icon, Ricardo Kaká, seems warranted given Foden's current status as one of the premier midfielders on the global stage. But this comes as no surprise to those who have known him for a considerable time, particularly since his days in the academy. The reality is, even at a tender age, he was deemed exceptionally talented. Back in his under-10s team, he effortlessly netted five goals in a resounding 10-0 victory, clearly standing head and shoulders above his peers. Coincidentally, a game involving the under-14 team was underway nearby, and given his dominance in the under-10s match, the academy coach swiftly transferred him to the under-14s game. Quite an unconventional move, isn't it? Despite being brought on with the score tied at one all, he seamlessly integrated into the under-14s team, showcasing his remarkable skills. Following this incident, he found himself regularly training with the under-14 team on various occasions. Such precocious talent is a rarity, reserved for exceptional players like Messi, Ronaldo Nazario and Kaka, who exhibited similar prowess at a young age, despite far surpassing their peers. He still faced a fundamental challenge due to his small stature, which honestly posed a threat to his progress at that stage of his career. However, demonstrating a remarkable mentality, he diligently worked hard, refusing to be defined by his physical limitations. He exhibited exemplary dedication by arriving early for training sessions and investing extra effort into honing his skills. While he may have lacked in height, he compensated with his exceptional skills and the right mindset, rendering him an invaluable asset. Reflecting on his extraordinary development in the academy, one of his former coaches remarked, Initially, we placed him in the under-14 training group to focus on teaching him to navigate around contact, finding those small spaces, a skill he now executes superbly. As he ascended to the elite level, he gradually gained confidence and learned to handle physical challenges from larger opponents. Over time, all the training and perseverance paid dividends. A few years later, when he reached the age to represent England's under-17 team, he quickly became a key player, earning a spot in the starting lineup for the Euros. In that tournament, he played a pivotal role, helping the team reach the final where they faced Spain, and he even managed to find the net during the match. Unfortunately, they lost that match on penalties after it ended 2-2, following extra time. However, a few months later, they sought redemption against Spain in the Under-17 World Cup final. In that memorable game, Foden netted a brace as they rallied from behind to secure a 5-2 victory. He was also honoured with the Golden Ball Award for his outstanding performance throughout the tournament, reaffirming his superiority over his peers. Subsequently, Foden made his debut for Manchester City and in 2019, he truly announced himself to the world by scoring his first Premier League goal for the club. This display was particularly impressive given his age. His remarkable talent didn't go unnoticed, as he garnered praise from Pep Guardiola, who later declared Foden as the most gifted player he had coached at that stage of his career. The performance against Spurs was just a glimpse of Foden's potential, as he went on to make even more appearances in the following 2019-2020 season, showcasing his continuous growth and impact on the field. He featured in 23 Premier League matches during the subsequent season. Following that, he made 28 appearances for them in the league, correct? It wasn't just about increasing his presence on the field. 
he was also delivering remarkably impressive performances. For instance, in the 2020-2021 season, he tallied a total of 16 goals and 10 assists. Similarly, in the 2021-2022 season, he recorded 14 goals and 11 assists. Even in the last season, when his form slightly dipped and he lost his starting spot, he still managed to score 15 goals across all competitions. However, in the current season, he has returned with a bang, showcasing outstanding performances, including his superb hat-trick against Brentford. While it's widely acknowledged that he is a highly talented player, he remains somewhat underrated. While it's fair to draw comparisons between him and contemporary stars like Bokaya, Ousmane Dembélé and Vinicius Jr., it wouldn't be misplaced to also compare him to some of football's legendary figures, such as Kaká. Consider, for instance, when Kaká was Foden's current age of 23, he scored 19 goals and provided 11 assists in 49 matches. However, when it comes to Foden, he has already notched up 11 goals and provided 9 assists in just 33 games this season. While he may not have matched Packers' numbers yet, he still has ample opportunities to surpass them before the season concludes. Given his current form, it wouldn't be surprising if he achieves just that. Foden boasts an impressive collection of accolades, including five Premier League titles, multiple FA Cups and League Cups, as well as triumphs in the Champions League and Club World Cup, with his contributions pivotal in many of those successes. Some may attribute his achievements to the quality of his team, but it's undeniable that few footballers can claim such an extensive trophy cabinet at his age. It's worth noting that even Kaká himself couldn't boast of such achievements at Foden's age, having only secured one Serie A title by then. In fact, only players like Messi could rival such accomplishments at a similar age while playing significant roles. While Foden hasn't yet clinched the Ballon d'Or like Kaká did, it's essential to remember that Foden is still only 23 years old, whereas Kaká didn't win the Ballon d'Or until he was around 25. So, you might concur that there's a possibility for Foden to potentially clinch the Ballon d'Or when he reaches that age. However, for this to materialise, he simply needs to increase his playing time. Last season, he lost his starting spot to Grealish. Nonetheless, injuries to Kevin De Bruyne have afforded him more game time this season, and he's already demonstrating his capabilities, shaping up to potentially have his best season yet. Moreover, he needs to secure more playing time for England. If he manages to do so, he could be in contention for the Ballon d'Or in the future. What are your thoughts on this? Do you believe Foden is underrated? Can he go on to win the Ballon d'Or? Could he surpass some of the footballing greats? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it enjoyable and share it with your friends. If you don't want to miss out on more captivating videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications. We look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.